Naked yoga? Come on. <laughs> that shit's blowing up in Canada. Yeah, really? Yeah. And, well, at least in Edmonton. But it's like all male classes. <laughs> like, they, it's not cool, bro. Alright, so we're not even going to do a theme song today. We're, we're not, just so going to go using straight one into mic? it. Yeah. Not, you sure it's going to pick up? up? Yeah, we just got to talk to the mic. Into the mic. It's facing like all right. the middle between us. So. All right. Rock and roll. All right. Let me know when we're I recording. I can hear your voice fine. Like, you want to hear it? For real? Yeah. For real? For real, Williams? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah, I hear you. But, you know, we, you know, it could be okay. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> all so, right. Let's go. Da -da 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 okay, so. Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. we'll skip that, that. that shit. Skip that shit. All right. So, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm John Montana. I'm Scott Sycamore. <laughs> okay. FTW, and fuck the world. That's right. That's right. All right. Me against the world. Let's go. Montana. We were talking about some ill shit in the car yeah, earlier. We, we did a, yeah, we did a show, but it was all messed up and we had some technical difficulties. So now well, we have to no one will ever hear, No one will ever hear it or comment on it or yeah, anything. Yeah, it was Anyways, like the best show ever. Nope. And no one will ever hear it. Yeah. It was so, actually terrible. I'm glad. I'm glad we had those technical difficulties because I didn't even like the way we did that show, and I felt like we needed to hit a, a few more subjects. And I, I think that like uh, it's more like testicle difficulties. Yeah, we were not balling up on that. No, we weren't. But um, you know, it's just a, yeah. It's I, all right. My beef with the last show was that it's hard to talk about. It's hard to fucked up shit. It's in hard a to talk about way. fucked up shit like the death of twenty children or not. But you also believe that or the the, the theory do. that maybe they didn't or whatever. I'm not saying I believe that. I never said that. All right. Don't so put what's me in yeah, that. yeah? So what's funny that's going on right now? Well, you said you like gun debates. Uh, we were having. Yeah. One. Let's so, let's. I mean, we well we've had this debate long time ago, but I never feel over. like we really really had it. I mean, we started that debate when we did the Trayvon Martin. Story, yeah, yeah, think. some shiz like that. But we didn't go, I don't feel like we went all the way with it. Well, basically... We had, there was all these other things like racism and all these other subjects around it. But I think we, we need to see, I think uh, I, really see what <laughs> we can do. Not just like talk and disagree about how we feel about guns, but see what we can do about... How do we make we a change? How do we make a change? How do we... Like, okay, now I hear a lot of people saying we should ban guns and stuff like that. How do you go about doing that? Uh, ha, ha, is the ha, question. Ha, ha. Like I well, see all the liberals are like, let's ban guns. Let's ban guns. Okay, now how do you do that? Like let's ban the well, AR-15, for put example. A law on how the do books. you do that? But how do you take away AR-15s from every person? You that don't. Owns That's AR why it can't really happen. Because it doesn't work. So you just agree with me just now? That well, gun everyone. Doesn't work. No, no, but that's not what I'm saying. Because, <laughs> no, well, you're equating, you're saying gun control is equal to everyone having their shits taken away, but that's not the same thing. Gun not, control I can work. I just said, just, I just control said, I just said just work. the confiscation of AR-15s. Just that. How do you go about doing that? But that's, no one's even proposing that. They are. Confiscation? Ban on an AR-15s. That means they're going to have to confiscate some. Because how do you ban something that people already have and are buying in drones. That doesn't mean, okay, assuming they're registered or whatever and you'd have to go turn them in if you're registered and you're on the books and fine. I mean, that's one thing, fine, they could take them away. But honestly, if you just have them in your, I really don't think they're gonna resort to that and if you have it in your closet somewhere, they're gonna bust into your door and take it from you and arrest but, you. But okay, they don't, let's they don't say do shit that targeted. You, you know that there are people who are crazy enough to say, hey, the government's gonna come after my guns. I'm, if they're coming, I'm gonna shoot at them. You know what I mean? You know there are they people. They say who are, that, but you, that's what people say. But there are people who are that crazy. There are people who are that crazy, but even yeah. then, saying it and all the people that say it, it's a, a tiny there, fraction but, of them would are actually do it. Who are crazy enough to do that shit to shoot at the government? Then what makes you think there's not people in the government who are crazy enough? To shoot at gun owners. <clears throat> well, no, but that's not how it works. They get other people to do the dirty work for them. Like You might not have it in you to shoot someone yourself, but that doesn't mean you can't give an order. Obama may not have it in him to kill someone, but he'll launch that drone strike I'm not and not talking think about, about it. Obama. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about anybody. You know, well, small of course parts crazy of the people. government. Of course there's crazy people, but what else? Like, crazy it's people not, in the government. People are good people. Yeah, but we always, think that, we always think that a conspiracy 
has to be involved like everybody like oh the whole town had to have known it or everybody in the media no, would doesn't. be in on it or something it like that. No, a conspiracy could be two people yeah. all right it doesn't have to be like everybody's in on it's it. rogue elements of the government Yeah, rogue elements but exactly. again but okay but the theory breaks down when it comes down to if you shoot back at police that's shooting back at the government quote unquote if you do any of that so you shoot back at the SWAT teams you're, it, that's never going to end well it's just not going to do it even if you you're going to be the villain but however one. you know the they villain. are you know you can agree with me that there are police that are crazy enough to shoot at people at Americans well it's been proven and there yeah. are Americans who are crazy enough to shoot at the police um, probably not as many per, per but there are, capita but there are there are some, a okay. few. There so, are select few. So all these crazy guys, these crazy like Alex Jones enthusiasts who are yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. if they try to go after our guns, yeah. you know, seventy seventy six, whatever. But they're not is gonna if, is gonna commence again. If, those guys are gonna be riled up and they're gonna shoot. Well, but the whole point is when if if they come for your gun, you're not gonna know about it. They're not gonna walk down your block slowly towards your house and say, knock on the door and allow you to shoot them. It's gonna be what a are fucking they raid. How are they gonna do it? They're gonna come in when you're fucking sleeping or passed out, which they know you are already. And they're gonna they're gonna find and out where it is gonna, and they're gonna <laughs> yeah I mean unlock your combination code and take your guns or is that no they they come when you're sleeping they put a fucking go shotgun under your, to your bed head. find uh, out under your bed no they put a gun to your head and be like open your damn safe and just like any other home invasion well robbery. what if you have a dog or like a dog that starts barking they shoot the dog you know how do they break into the house all right so Dude. you're basically saying that they're going to use. The powers they have under the Patriot Act and the NDAA to basically what else go into people's for? homes and take their guns. Uh, no, that's what you're saying. No, that's what you just said. I don't know <laughs> no, what I'm saying. <laughs> I, no, you're saying, no, because what you said is well, your thoughts is like uh, the Patriot shit. Like, oh, we're going to shoot back at them. Like, they're going to give us an opportunity saying. to that's, shoot back. They're not going to give you an that's opportunity. That's what they're saying. That's Who's what all these, all these I know. right-wingers on television. I know, but I'm trying to they're tell saying, them. They're I'm, saying, look, listen, man, if it, 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 the, the, we have the AR-15s in order to protect no, ourselves No, I get what they're saying. From tyrants. But your problem is what I just told you, which is if they, if, this is the, if they do come for your guns, you're not going to get to shoot back. They're not going to give you an opportunity to do so. You get it? Yeah. They're going to do but it see, when you can't shoot back. if they can do that with people with guns, then what are they going to do they'll with come people get that you don't at, have guns? They'll come get you at Thanksgiving if they, if dinner. You're, if you're saying something, let's what say you're... What are you talking about? Let's say you're a left-wing activist who said something... I like, am a left-wing. All right. No, no, so even. that's why I'm saying... I'm not, though. Let's say you are. And let's then, say. And then uh, you say something that is like really threatening to the status quo... And they come after you. Testify. And you don't have a gun. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's say... I don't know what you... I, I, let's say you're a right-wing activist and they come after you and you do have a gun. Which one of these guys would you rather be? You're just going to look worse after the fact when you do have a gun because they're going to be like, oh, he was stockpiling weapons and he had a gun and all, and then people will be like, oh, he's yeah, dangerous. Yeah, but as far as like they're trying to kill you. They're not just trying to set you up. They're, they're going to kill fucking you. kill you if they want to kill you. Don't you get this? You don't seem to get this. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna take my stand. I have my shotgun on the porch. I'm gonna make a stand against the government. Like, well, I'm saying, which one has house. the better chance? Which the, one has the better chance? You don't have any better chance, really, with your gun. So you rather just uh, get like raped and tortured and killed and and killed slowly than uh, die getting shot no. trying to defend yourself? Well, that's fine too. When people do death by cop, I'd rather, I'm die, just saying, I'd rather die trying to trying to I defend agree. myself. I agree. I agree with that. But than, I'm saying you still die gonna slowly die. in a prison getting I, raped. I agree, but you're still gonna die when you get sh in that shootout. That's don't make no mistake about that. It's not like well, yeah, you're, I'm gonna defend myself. No, like, you're getting right, killed a different if way. If you have the option between, they're gonna go into your your uh, your house. They're gonna <laughs> kidnap you. They're, they're gonna tie you up. Way. They're gonna rape you. They're gonna put you no, in a cell, and, and they're gonna take you to Guantanamo Bay and torture you. No, I'm saying they it happens. It shit happens. They don't take regular Americans. This kind of stuff Americans happens in every Guantanamo. other country in the world. All right. But and by the way, we do have laws in the books that allows them to take regular Americans to Guantanamo. Oh no, the laws so, might be on the books, but again, to our knowledge, there's only the Arab. But what I'm saying, they have now under the law, they have the right to come into your house without a warrant. All right, and basically take you anywhere they want. And for questioning and detaining <coughs> you without a warrant, without a lawyer, without a trial, and they can convict you without without any yeah, kind of so trial. Yeah, so right? my message is so, leave America to and, you, to and whoever. And they can, they can also execute you. They can, every, Again, you know, which they will all, which the they will do all if they country. want to. But guess right? what? This is stuff they'll do if they want to. Your fucking gun locked up in the safe or unlocked or whatever. It's not going to prevent this. If, if, if the government's coming to kill me, I'd rather have a gun than not have. You're one. not gonna know. 
That's the whole point is you're not going to know. Uh, well, how do you know? I, because if that's I'm how ready, they would do it. Well, what I'm saying is I'd rather Just die, like the I'd rather die def- trying to defend myself while they're shooting at me or something. Like get, trying to get in a standoff like you said. You just got a death wish. Then, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't. But I'm saying if I had the option of dying in, the, in a rain of bullets... But or dying, not, you're in, my or point. dying in jail, you're getting raped, my point and getting enslaved me. in the prison system, I'd rather and be free. tortured and and executed secretly. Give Which one do you think liberty, I'm going to pick? Give me liberty or give me death jam recordings. Look, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, which one would you want? Would you rather? Oh, of course, I yeah, I want to go out quick. No, yeah, or would cor- you at least have a ch- want to have a chance? But listen to the voice of reason here. I'm trying to tell you your guns that you think will protect you against all that won't. Because they're coming deep if they're coming, which probably isn't even really a scenario. I think it'll be much more of a mass scenario. That's sort of a personal scenario. So you do think they're coming then? Not in the way that you think. So you think that basically <laughs> I think they want they're not us coming, to come. but if they do come, there's nothing we have can you do heard about the it. Phrase, have you heard the phrase, in a perfect police state, there are no police because it's just everyone spying on each other? I think it wants, they want it to be more yeah, like they, that. Of course they want that. Yeah, and then you just report someone that's suspicious... Uh, to the real authorities, they come in SWAT team. Look, That's there's, all it takes. There are stories of uh, the wrong neighbors. Like somebody calls uh, yeah, snitches sure. on their neighbors and say that their neighbors have drugs. And, yeah, exactly. And, it's, and it, maybe it was something somebody smoking weed yeah. next to the house, but nobody actually from that house or something like that. And, we live, and then the SWAT team shows up and kills everybody in that house, all, all the innocent people yeah, whatever. who have nothing to do with this. Dude, there's a, we, right? we live so, in a snitch culture. Even The Rock is in a new movie called Snitch. Exactly. And, so like, we, you have to look at it. The war on drugs plays a big part in it. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And I mean, the, the war on drugs, gun control, and the Patriot Act can, and the NDAA can I make this play point? into each other. Let me make this point. Um, I feel like people nowadays, especially sort of the older generation, they're trained that they call the police over anything. Someone's yeah. having a loud party next door, you call the cops. You don't go over and knock on their door and ask yeah. them to turn the music down. You just call the police to come break it up. Right, you right. see suspicious people standing around, you call the police. Now, okay, I yeah. had a, I had a friend that, it's actually a mutual friend of ours, a, a two of them. Of course. That uh, I was hanging out back with, back in like 2002 or 2003 or something like that. And... Uh, we were all like sitting at a table, and uh, one of them had a gun, but it was not a real gun. It was a, it was like a BB gun, but it looked like a real gun. It was like right. one of those BB guns that shaped like a real gun, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, he was just like holding it like he thought he was a gangster because we were all a bunch of little rappers and all that. And oh uh, yeah. And uh, the neighbors, the one of the neighbors saw that through the window or something like that. You know, a snitch neighbor, a fucking spying, right. spying on us and stuff like that. A little and, weasel, uh, yeah. And called the cops, and then the cops showed up, and literally, I they I had a gun to the back of my head, and then everybody else there, you know, from was, the popos, the, the cops were, you know, had their guns drawn in us. I had a similar experience, you know? not exactly similar, but yeah. So uh, what I'm saying is, the just having a gun rouse up so much that the police always gets involved and that's when and when the police gets involved things get messy sometimes people get shot accidentally like well, yeah, but one of these cops could have been a nervous cop and, and accidentally pulled the trigger on one of us like I literally they had the guns like cut like from the back of our heads and everything I mean you know? like this was a raid the, you know this, like, um, yeah, so what exactly. I'm saying is the, 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 the threat and paranoia of the of the gun of the fear of the gun culture is basically a uh, a uh, Justifying these raids and and this this police yeah. state. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So the, as I said, cops, the fear of guns, the fear of drugs, the fear of uh, uh, of you know minorities and criminals, immigrants, criminals in general, in generals, which is yeah. the crime rate is actually lower, the fear, generally lower in American history than it's ever been. But the fear of criminals is probably at a high. But also, yeah. it's basically that yeah. Again, it's someone snitching on you. This is you're in your own house or someone's house doing it. Um, also, it's what I was saying to you before that probably most cops are in favor of gun control. You have a gun in your house, don't bring it to the uh, table. Keep it locked up in the think, motherfucking I think, safe. I think most politicians are in favor of gun control. I don't think but most they have cops guns. are. I think a lot of cops. I think it, cops are. It, a lot of. Mm, I don't know because yeah. I, I talked to a lot of cops and a well, lot of according cops. According to like, your theory, they would be because they want to oppress us, meaning we, well, we need to disarm us first. But those are not first. individual cops. That's why I think their whole gun control thing is not going to. 
they're not going to be able to take, get like locals to torture people in, in their hometown. You know, they're going to get people from like, for example, in Texas, they're going to get people from Oklahoma to, to come to be the cops well, in Texas to torture Texans. It's all you semantic. see what I'm saying? It's all semantics. Yeah. I mean, so that's the only way they're going to get their gun control shit through is by having by importing people or getting people from the military or getting people from Blackwater. You know, or people. Oh, people, don't you mean Zai? Yeah, or X I. Yeah, I mean they're gonna use people who are already doing uh, these kinds of things overseas, gun controlling in Iraq and in Afghanistan, raiding people and taking their guns. Those are gonna be the people part of the task force. Well, again, it really doesn't matter what group they're from or what you call them. People will fuck with other people. It's been proven. All this f Americans won't fuck with Americans I know, I know. thing is such horseshit but, but because we already do fuck with each right, other. But whether whether you agree with. The idea of gun control or not. Do you see yeah. that the danger in having an administration that has been caught smuggling guns, machine guns, you know, to, you know, big guns to big Mexican guns. drug cartels, having that same government elements, saying that they want to take your government? No, it's the same government. It's, it's, it's uh, Eric Holder, you know, it's that department. You know what I mean? The, the, even guys from the Bush administration who were doing it. I, but I it's still, you. it's the same government. All it's right. just Obama has sales. has followed the same exact policies as Bush. It's just money. No, see, what they really want is the money. That's why they sub, uh, give the guns to the cartels because they will pay top dollar and they're just trying to get paid. Just like the increase in gun sales when there's fear of gun laws in America makes money for the gun manufacturers, which they probably get a piece of, you know, reversely. And people like Eric Holder are probably invested in with their stock holdings and everything. And yeah. that's how it really that's works. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's all, it's all a giant conspiracy you know, because the, the the gun manufacturers make money when Obama says he's going to pass gun control. All right. Now, if if the Obama does pass gun control eventually and takes everybody's guns, the gun manufacturers will still be making money because they'll be selling guns to the ATF and and other no, but agencies that's a that far will cry be from from fucking regular civilian retail personal I mean, sales. But look at that's the, like look saying at Walmart number. will only sell uh, you know. Fucking floppy hats to uh, the the government, like no. Well, it's the gonna point take a lot. Of, it's gonna there. take a lot of guns to take to to uh, gun control the United States of America. Well, that I mean, would be, let's full be realistic. Up, I said it's soft, going to take a lot fascism. of AR-15s and submachine guns and stuff like that for the government to try to confiscate every AR-15 in the United States. It's going to take a lot of firepower. That's why they've invested. They already have in, it. Yeah, exactly. They doesn't. They don't need to buy anymore. They have them already. No, they're gonna need. They're, they're, they're gonna there. need more. They're gonna need more. They have plenty. Trust me. They're gonna All need these... more because there's gonna be a resistance. If you're hearing this, you are the <laughs> resistance. All right. What other goofy <laughs> shit is in the but news? But you know there's gonna what be other a goofy resistance. Shit? You know it. They're oh, no, saying it's already. It, they're not, they're it not already hiding. has a leader. It already they're has a hiding. leader. And I'm not saying Alex Jones is not the leader <laughs> of the people saying this. All right. There's every every person who talks about the Second Amendment, they agree. That the Second Amendment is not about hunting. It's not about, you know, just Duck having... hunting. Yeah, exactly. Or just a peace of mind, a psychological thing that just makes you feel safe. That's not what it is. It's a, a balance of power. You have to be able to... The people have to be able to match the power of the government. The Founding Fathers foresaw yeah. this. And we have to shrink the government. We have to shrink the military. We have to shrink their power over you us. you got to shrink and your dick in the pool. we have to be able... We have to be able to have the firepower to to literally overthrow the government. I mean, look at the, all these Arabs overthrowing their governments. They have the firepower to do that because their culture, they're not afraid of guns over there. You know what I mean? Like, we're they not all, here. Yeah. Huh? What's we're, that? We're not here either, are we? Uh, well, not according to a lot of people I talk to. I mean, when I go to California, of course, but not here in yeah, Austin, Texas. Out of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, no, I meant in America in general. <laughs> Well, but, uh, okay, yeah, but if you're you're in California or New York or a lot of these states, these these states that have a lot of the crime because they have a lot of these packed cities like Los Angeles and New York, fudge packed cities. Yeah, these these states are very pro gun control, and the gun control doesn't seem to be helping. I mean, the problem with crime is when you put all these people and you condense them into a city, like Campbell's into a soup. small city, then there's gonna be more crime, duh, because the condensation. You know what I mean? There's more. Yeah, it's like rain. There's yeah. a lot of condensation. Yeah, like if you put so, a bunch of poor people, poor people tend to be more desperate and, and and do desperation crimes. If you put a bunch of people in in one neighborhood, and you know, if there there's gonna be more crime in that neighborhood, obviously. And more you grime. Know? 
Yeah. Uh, what do you predict Barrio really will do with this gun measure uh, philosophy? What do, I, what do I think he's really going to do? Really? In actual reality? Um, I think he is going to test out the waters. I think he's going to uh, uh, possibly do a executive order, but it's not going to be a huge executive order. It's going to be like just a little something, you know, it's going to make, I don't a know. A semi-soft man, executive but order. But he's not going to get all guns. He's going, he, they're only saying they want to go after the AR-15s because that's the only, they want to go 15s. after the weapons that the military has. Because the military wants to be able to have these weapons, but not you. You see what I'm saying? That's the concept. They want a Fort Hood in the hood. Yeah, They exactly. want that shit to be going it, it, down it all the time. Basically, what that does, it says that the military are, they are above the law. Basically, they have rights that well, they we have don't their have. own law. They, they have their own military code of conduct and right. law, and that's what it says. You see, you, that's what the ban of the AR-15 says: that the military has the right to have these guns, but you don't. They have rights that we don't. Somehow, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and unrights that yeah. we don't. But also, when they come home, they they're gonna take their guns away. That's what they're trying to do too. Now they're trying to. Uh, to uh, uh, un- to disarm veterans when they can't come home because there's a lot of cases of veterans going crazy and a lot of cases but. like all the cases like suicide is bigger than actually getting killed in combat and veterans uh, yeah. kill themselves more than you know at a higher rate than other slices of yeah. life. Of but course. also take um, into the account that some of these deaths can be. You know, engineered. Yeah, it Seal can, Team because, Six. Where are you at? Yeah, because a lot of these these uh, guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, they've seen some shit. You know, they've seen a lot. They've been witnessed, classified as witness shit. to some some crimes, some crimes by the U.S. government. Witness to a murder. Exactly. I mean, look, when we talk about stuff, that's why, like, I don't even want to talk so much about Sandy Hook because no, no, let, don't let's bring it up. let's look at let's look at all the death and murder of children that has happened. You know, a fun, under a under fun look. yeah, under a the current look president at. and the last president and and other presidents, you know, and we have to we all have to presidents. look things in the perspectives. All right, Meaning throughout what? history, what's throughout your, history, what's your perspective? What has murdered more people throughout history? Uh, a lone nut with an AR-15 or governments? Yeah, but I'm not into this government thing. But but of there's an answer to my it. question. Which one of these elements has killed more people well, throughout history? Well, it was history? the people Alone that were, gun nut or government. What's killed people is other is people in the military for the most part just following orders. Yeah, that's what orders killed from. Well, orders from like a one from one person, quote unquote. You know, like from a elected Hitler, officials from one person who was possibly working on behalf of a greater council or group or conspiracy from elected or multinational from people that we vote for. But yeah, elected officials. But again, you only get what you deserve. If people put them in place. They voted for them. We vote, I know, like, but that's that's the whole point. We we, we assume that politics. Okay, we voted for him, and you know, therefore, because it's it's our fault. Because it's not our fault that these people lie to us. It's not our fault that these people. Uh, they, you know, and a lot of us are naive. We have to learn not to be naive. Politicians, by nature, are corrupt. Most people of them are. love get, um, getting behind a leader. Okay, what I'm saying there's is leaders politicians and there's followers. Are, politicians are naturally corrupt. The more power you give them, the more power over you they're gonna have. Most people are followers. They will follow whoever is put up in front of them on a pedestal and say, "Oh, that's a leader." Point at them and say, "That's a leader." Even though they're not leadership material, yeah. they. Uh, you know, they'll say, okay, well, that's the guy, whatever he says is good. I believe he's doing right by us. He's doing what's right for the country or the village or whatever the fucking shtetl you live in throughout history. But no, like you, as you might say, I'm about self-government. I'm about look, being my own leader. You have to be a leader, not nothing, follow a leader. There's nothing we can do about having corrupt leaders. Like Jefferson even said, like, please don't make don't make me serve another term because I'm afraid <laughs> I'll become corrupt. It's you like know fucking what I mean? Gandalf with the yeah. ring. Uh, you know, so a lot of these, you know, it's uh, uh, every 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 politician is corrupt, you know, or it has the potential. Except Ron Paul. Except <laughs> for Ron Paul, of course, but, or has the potential to become corrupt, like Rand Paul. For the example. potential. That, you know douche, know I mean? that douchebag's been corrupt so, since his own dad so pulled him from the womb. So therefore, because he's a guy, to, uh, OBGYN ass motherfucker. But look, these fools are some bitches. So that's and why I'm saying, like, if if all politicians are like most likely no, to but be you're, corrupt, you're stereotyping. then that means I mean, no, no, no. That's racist but, in a way because but we, but we know this because a certain of, race of people. We know this you're because saying of history. Corrupt. We know this because of history that most politicians throughout history have been corrupt. But then you're all about you're all on the founding fathers' dick. 
No, they were even, the, even some of the founding fathers were probably corrupt, all right? But what I'm saying is all politicians are corrupt, and therefore, or potentially corrupt, and therefore, that's why we need to shrink government. So yeah, we're in 20, we're almost done with month one of 2013. We got some gun control. What goofy shit's gonna happen? I mean, or we will we see the spread of Santorum, so to speak, a little bit further down the road? He could be a legitimate Republican threat in the next election for. Well, I think. I, I mean, think, he yeah, almost got there. This I time. hope so. It'd be awesome. He could be a legitimate threat. I, we were talking I, about that shit. We're gonna see uh, Joe Biden's personality come out a lot more because now they're <laughs> saying that he might be a potential 2016. Guy. I don't buy it right now. I don't buy it in it. But uh, it's certainly possible. But I really think people like Biden, <laughs> Hillary, and whatnot, they're too old. We want a younger, fresher perspective Yeah, somebody nowadays. will come out of nowhere. You the, know, Cos the, the Julian Castro. Guy, Castro. Julian Castro, Because, yeah. yeah, America wants a youthful, vigorous, energetic, yeah. like Obama. They got yeah, a taste of it now. We just got a Barack Hussein <laughs> Ob Osama, Obama, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And so now they're going to go for a Castro, of course. Obama, yeah. We just had a Hussein <laughs> from Iraq. Hussein to Castro. I'm sure uh, John Gaddafi is up next in one of the... Uh, <laughs> John Gaddafi. <laughs> in one of the fucking, uh, you know, next primaries or something. Yeah, and then uh, we might yeah, even Yeah, Democrats are going for this dictator look, or obviously. They're going for the Chavez look. Or... Uh, James Ahmadinejad <laughs> out of South yeah. Florida. I don't it's know. obviously that it's <laughs> obviously you we're seeing kind of a shift in the Democratic Party where they're they're getting a lot more radical with the with the gun oh, control issue. No, they're dutical and they're tubular. Yeah. They're, they're radical. They're going total commie style. They're radical in the eighties slang sense, white yeah. white teen slang. Like when you look at the leaders of the gun control movement in our government, you got Chuck Schumer, you got Diane Feinstein. Like these Chuck are gun owners. These are people who have like huge automatic rifles. You know, it's they the like their guns. They just want you to give up. Jews. The problem is the Jews. Chuck Jumer and Diane Jew Stein. I didn't even want, know that they... Chuck Schumer was a Jew, but it doesn't. Oh, it a... does, I don't even. I'm not saying that. Oh, he's definitely a Jew. They always. They always put up the Jews up, up yeah. there. I'm being they, facetious because they're trying. Yeah, they're trying to make it look like every the Jews are the scapegoats. So blame the Jews. You know what I mean? So they put the Jews to do their dirty work, basically. I think the Jew, I don't know if it was the Jews or a different culture, but who actually invented the ritual of scapegoating? where they'd take a goat and they would like paint they would like paint words on it or something a Hebrew maybe and they and would, then the goat would escape yeah they let the goat go and it represented all the sins of the town of their entire village so it's like okay one goat will let go and they get to run off into the fucking that's forest a, that's or whatever that's interesting I mean yeah. no, but, but so there actually was scapegoats but well now throughout it's a, history yeah. Jews are the most scapegoated people <laughs> all throughout history that's but, damn you know, I mean, that's very true you and, got out of an understanding. So yeah, but you see, that's why they put up they put up Chuck Schumer, Dianne Feinstein, Schmuck Schumer. They put these Jews to, to to promote gun control, so that all the right wingers, when they basically were like me, I'm not a right winger, but I'm saying all the pro gun people. You're a tight winger. Will will basically criticize pe gun control. Well, yeah, they They'll all say, have well, guns. Oh, you just don't like Dianne Feinstein and Chuck Schumer because well, they, they're Jews. <laughs> they all have guns. <laughs> Look, they all have guns. They a lot of them go hunting. They all have armed guards, both yeah. private and public. And they, and they, they, they know guns well. And they're very. They're not just. They brag about it. Like, have you seen that picture of John Kerry where he has like a gun in his mouth and all that? Guns He's like smiling. Yeah. Oh my God, John Kerry. There was a big controversy about this. Uh, about John Kerry when he was running for president, there was a picture that surfaced of him and a friend playing around with a uh, with a big like rifle. They were hunting or whatever, but they were like pointing the rifles at each other and laughing. And at one point, uh, John Kerry had a, a big rifle in his mouth, like it looked like he was like you know basically performing fellatio, like we've seen with Rick Perry and uh, Michelle. <laughs> it Bachman. tasted like ketchup from his wife's uh, dynasty. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it was a Rick Santorum picture of, of John Kerry sucking on a on a on maybe it was Ted Nugent's gun. I <laughs> he's guess. gonna suck that swizzle. <laughs> he's gonna suck that swizzle stick and keep on sucking. But yeah. Kerry was super pro gun. He went duck hunting like three weeks yeah. before the election. But you see, like they're ah. no John Kerry is is part of. He's also pro gun control. He was in Vietnam. He but he's in Vietnam. he's with the, he's with the agenda. He's with the Feinstein bill. He wants to get get rid of all the. All the the big assault rifles, which I'm sure he probably owns. He wants smart war. He doesn't want this bush sloppy war. But what he I'm saying is, they want they don't robotic. want to get rid of all guns. They want to get rid of guns of y'all guns. Yeah, but um, that includes you. I don't right. have any guns. But I'm saying, if one day you have a stalker and you know find out somebody wants to kill you, you won't be able to defend yourself. If they if they are successful in what they want to do, which yeah, is take you, your gun or take your ability guy. away to get one. Yo, man, shit's going to happen, man. People need to realize this shit. <laughs> shit happens. I'm sick of people so, trying 
to So what are you going to do about it? I'm that's, sick of people trying to, trying to make this show listen, about. What are we going to do about it? Let me listen. I'm sick of people trying to patch up these random X factors that happen all throughout nature and life and think like we're going to prevent it all from over. It's like saying, oh, we have seatbelts in cars now, so now there won't be any more accidents. Or there won't but be any deaths. Or you're something. making Some the shit argument you can't for prevent. me that we can't prevent like random shooting that happens. But you all can the time. regulate the shit out of it, though. How? You can. You how just do you can. do that? You do all kinds of but stuff. But I would like you to explain to me how. Well, you're, you're always able... asking for the evidence. You regulate it. You put thing only this. Uh, all I'm saying is background is, checks the, and all the, that sort the of The methods crap. that they're going to use to take people's guns they away be because they're going to go after the AR-15s, and AR-15s are weapons that are going to be needed to match Look, with bigger weapons. By the SWAT teams we're and the people who are going to be doing this. The look, ATF is going to need machine guns to take away people's ar We're free or not? Well, you're trying to swing it back the gun debate. I think the gun debate is over. Because how do you think over. they're going to ban ar freer now than but we But let me are. ask you. How is the government going to be let's able to talk, ban AR-15s as they are Let's talk about some goofy comedic shit. Okay, so right. who do we see in the presidential... Uh, yeah, but see, this is a cop Scott, Scott. No, look. The point is, you're trying to get your point across, I get it, but it's a stalemate. It's just I, the further I, of the Hegelian I, dialectic. I want to know. I'm curious. I you're buying know into the NWO's what, but Hegelian But I'm not. I just want to know. Dialectic. I have a question, and I want an answer to it. How I can't is the give government you all the going answers. to... So, I can give you the best answers, but not okay, all the Okay, how answers. would you? If you were president, how would you go <laughs> about getting about rid shit. of all AR-15s? I wouldn't think about any of this shit if I were president. Okay, thank you. So you agree with me that the gun control thing is probably stupid. It's probably a dumb thing. For it's the always a red herring. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's no point of like, they're going to do what they're going to do, whatever it's going to be, whether no matter whose opinions or who says this on a radio show or who like, you can even storm the Bastille. It's not going to, they're just going to go. The point is we're more free now than we've ever been, except for a few things. But yeah, but we're going back those few into things. that direction of the government wanting to control our lives. I mean, they want to Jim what Crow you, all of us. No, no. Genco? What you say? They want to Jim Crow all of us. No, no, no. It's not... The control. NDAA pretty much Jim Crows all of us. We have to be out of the matrix rather than in. They want us to be paranoid. The ultimate thing is they, that they want you to be is paranoid and fucking disturbed and unhappy and mentally like off balance and off kilter. That's what they're really going for on the final level. Of course they do. And they, of course they want to drive you nuts. They want to put their little subliminal messages in their, in your, in movies and they want to drive you nuts and make you look like a crazy if you believe these things. If you believe, if you see the truth, they make you no, look crazy. No, not even crazy. I mean, that's part of it, but they so, want you to actually be paranoid and fear, fearful. And that's No, you shouldn't be level. fearful. You shouldn't be fearful, but you shouldn't be stupid either. Like if you no, true. if you are on a government terror list or whatever, or if they're looking at you, if they don't like what you're saying on your radio show or whatever, you know, which I imagine we say a lot of crazy shit on our no, radio show. No, no, they like us uh, actually. You think they like? Well, I, I don't know, but let's say one person in the government. It doesn't have to be uh, uh, the entire government. Let's say one person in the government doesn't like what we said about one politician. All right, and you know, we our lives could very well be in danger. You know but there's I mean? your fear and paranoia again. But I'm saying it's possible, all right? It's Anything's not... possible. Like a fucking toilet from an airplane could land on, you know, go through the roof of your house and kill you in your sleep. All right. Falling let's out of the sky. Say, let's say you know for Can't sure. Can't prevent it. Let's say you know for sure that somebody wants to come and get come and get you. Again, what are you going to do? There's no, then you probably need a gun or need to go stay at your aunt's, right. aunt's Thank house. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, stay at like, your aunt's house. Thank yeah. You. No, I mean... But you're, well, you're not making any argument here. You're just saying like, oh, if someone wants to shoot you, you want, oh, no, 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 don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> if someone wants to shoot you, you want a gun, right? Yes, of course. This is all hypothetical, though. This is all hypothetical. Yeah, but it's what I'm not, saying is, is you would rather have at least, you know, the availability of, course of a gun. I would, motherfucker. Of course I would. I'm saying there's some people who shouldn't. Well, have let's it. say somebody want, let's say somebody burglarizes your house. You're not going to be oh thinking, God, damn, I'm going to go get a gun now. No, of course no, I want the right to have late. a gun, but not everyone should have. If you've been convicted of a crime and all that stuff, no, you don't get I it. I never said everyone should have the right to have a gun. No, that seems like it's exactly what you're saying. But I'm just saying we should saying. have a ban on, on a specific Well, that is a gun. type of ban. If, if certain people aren't allowed to have it, that by definition, don't fuck with the, is a ban. So well, yeah, I mean, you're in favor of gun control. No, so you are in favor of gun control. Mental, mentally unstable. You're a gun control guns, advocate. But I don't think the government should make a mentally unstable database because then they can say that people who don't like the government. There's are mentally always unstable. there's already databases. Again, you can't backtrack from this. Facebook's a database. Google's a database. They all have it in there. So 
it don't matter, man. Like you try, you think you can live off the fucking cuff and off the grid or whatever. No, they right. know what well, they what want. What I'm about saying it. is, by making guns seem like they're like the devil in our society. Like, How? In, but no one but, thinks that. No, that's the whole well, point. Well, Pierce Morgan and a lot of people. He's in the not media even have, in our society. He's he fucking is. on CNN. No one in CNN is part of society. <laughs> you need to be recognized what to I'm be a part of is society. In, in the wake of Sandy Hook and events that have happened in the past year and a half or so, they're we, trying to make you paranoid. We have through no, that no. Stuff. We have. I'm. I'm not the Literally. paranoid one. I'm saying that <laughs> America has become paranoid because Listen, of these events. That's what they want. All right. I'm not paranoid. I'm being realistic here. I'm no, looking no. At you are far from realistic. But, but I I'm, feel you. I'm, I'm being look. I'm being realistic when it comes to history. Jim Crow was not that long ago. Real historical. All right. right. Jim Crow was not that long ago. All right. That was a law that basically said that black people couldn't have guns. Jim Long a Crow. There was a lot of laws back then. It was a, a lot, lot of, of it's changed. Yeah. A lot of that's changed though. Just because it happened in history doesn't mean it's going to happen again exactly the same way. Yeah. Why would it happen that way? What they I'm saying is we should up. have equality. We shouldn't have laws that make it so rich people and the elite and the government can have guns, but you can't. We should but, have equality. Everybody should be. But no one's proposing that. There's all like the NRA. All they you have to look at. All you have that. to look they at. They are proposing that. They're trying to ban a gun that the military uses on a regular basis. All I can say is the people, whether they're legit or not, the NRA who supposedly speak for gun owners in America, they're the ones from they're the ones promoting direct fascism. So yeah, they when are. you look at that, they are. I'm not gonna look. You're bringing the NRA into nuts. this, and I, I agree with you on this. Yeah, but these are the you're, quote unquote real gun nuts. No, I mean, actually, the N, the NRA has has is responsible for a lot of gun control legislations. All right, they're the ones that came up with the idea that every uh, everybody should register their race. All right, and this is why I think the gun control is is the I mean the uh, the NRA is pretty much it's that is gun control. But there's still it's at a least... form of saying like trying to restrict the rights of black people to yeah, get but, guns. Yeah, but here's the problem. This is the problem when you love and you fetishize guns up to that point so much as people like that do, you're gonna find ways for them to be used, which yeah, they are that's doing. That's why I don't like the NRA. They make it look like it's cool to have a gun. No, it's not cool to have to defend your life, to have enemies and stalkers and all that, to live in a neighborhood where you have to constantly defend they yourself. They think they're badasses simply by having a gun, and it don't no, work some that people, way. Some people have no other choice, all right? But again, my point is, and so many people, it's been proven, even soldiers, many of them won't fire a gun, even in combat. Most people, when it comes to this hypothetical situation where you're in the middle of the mass shooting and you can stop it because you have a gun, it ain't going to happen. But it Either has you're happened. Gonna, not, well, not like you think it has. It much. has. Though. It's I happened. It's happened, many yes. stories it has where happened. There, there were people coming in with, with very big no, guns into but schools most and people ain't gonna then shoot you, back. See, you get somebody like a security guard or assistant principal or a teacher basically stopping the whole thing and then maybe there's only one casualty or two casualties or something like that there was a shooting in texas just today where two three, three people were shot they're saying two or three people they're not sure now what the story is which is bizarre but the point is if this were a gun free zone it could have been 20 people 28 people 30 people 40 people but the Where, point is, this was, know, in, this was in Texas, and it was only know, three people were shot, and there were no deaths. How, how do you know what a gun-free zone is, and is it? Like, is there a sign every... Well, every you know that there are zone? none in Texas. There's none in Texas. But people get no. shot in Texas. Texas is not, a, like, a good place, like, you seem to want to make it out to. I'm sure a lot and of And maybe there is. are a few, gun, like, private gun-free uh, gun zones here and there, but not nearly as many as a state like Connecticut. I'm sure there's plenty murders in Texas and all that stuff. Not you know, nearly as many gun, as a uh, state like... And gun crime. Not nearly as many as like a state like Illinois That's or New York. Chi-Town. No, New York, you saw the crime rates dropped significantly in New York. Like the yeah, overall from crime being, rate. Yeah, from being way high for no, like no, ever. No, no, it's though. good. The gun bans definitely work. I lived well. in New York, man. You can't I tell live, me I the crime too. rate is low over there. I lived there more recently than you it have. It's it probably is low. lower now, but when I lived oh, there, lower it was now. not very low. Oh, well, well, it's lower now, so I guess that completely fucking... Exactly proves the point that yeah, the but gun ban Don't you works. think that maybe 9 11 had something to do with that? It unified people, yeah, it course. brought people together. Of course, you know but it saying? worked so on So we this always blame the guns. I, I don't think that always more guns are always the solution. I don't, And I definitely don't think that less guns are the solution. I think that usually the solution is looking at the problem, which is, for example, the war on drugs or the addiction to prescription drugs. Or other things that contribute to violence in our society. Oh, right? shit. You know, and this is not trying to 
cop out in trying to get away from the gun control debate. I'm just, I'm just trying to say it's a that cop out. The gun thing, the lack of gun or or the availability of guns is not always the issue. Is not always the argument. All right. So what up with Santorum? <laughs> I don't I'm know, man. I'm, I'm praying every. I'm praying every night that Santorum will come back. But, I know. All right, what, 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 what's prediction? Let's, uh, let's talk yeah, predictions. Predictive programming. Oh, no, I tried to steer. There's no predictions. Oh. We were trying to figure out. Tomorrow, who- you guys. Hillary Clinton. Well, no, it won't be tomorrow by the time they hear this. Well, yeah, whatever. Tomorrow is the what? 23rd? 23rd. Oh, the number 23. Yeah, today's the 22nd, so tomorrow's the 23rd. Hmm, 23. I don't know what that nah, means. Nah, Jim Carrey movie. But uh, Hillary Clinton will uh, supposedly testify on the Benghazi the ben debacle. The Bin Benghazi. The Benghazi debacle. And everyone collectively doesn't give a shit. I know. Well, what I'm saying is this will either make her career or break her career. Uh, she's or, already bro- she's But not- I don't think it's going to make her career. But the thing is she's no. going to either perjure make. herself. Her career has been made. She's going to either perjure herself or, or do the uh, Gonzalez thing and just say, I don't recall, I don't recall, I don't recall. No, you she'll know? just... Or she'll just call in sick again. No, no she'll no. just tell what she knows. She's not running for prez or anything. She's not going to be So what do you president. think? Will she? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? I don't know. I don't really care about the case, but she won't be president. That's the whole point. But that's what I say. But no, no, it's not. No, you said, well, it'll break. She even without this, she's uh, they're, not going to run. No, they're prepping Joe Biden. They're, no, I don't Joe, think Joe Biden either. I, they've been talking a lot about Joe Biden. I don't. Just it's saying. it's just a distraction. But uh, distraction. in the inauguration, you think then, it's going to be Castro? No, I didn't say that. I think it's going to be neither Biden nor Hillary. That's my only prediction right. in terms well, of. But this is four years. Well, maybe hence. maybe we'll do another show tomorrow just to recap uh, and see what uh, happens. But tomorrow is a big day. Whether you care or not, tomorrow's a big day in the world of politics because oh, it's always the great. Clinton name and like I said, the, the name Clinton was in the uh, in the uh, Dark Knight Rises oh, video on the shit. map on the uh, second map. I just don't think it's ultimately going to have that many ramifications, whether domestically, foreign wise. Like it was a fucked up incident that happened, Benghazi, and there probably is conspiratorial elements to it, but overall, it's not that. Like, there's what well, is it? A couple people died. There's mad people died. Let's just say the, the biggest cable news network, Fox News, FNC, has has oh, paid my, a lot of attention to oh, that story. I'm sure they have. And yeah, it's not they like, got nothing else. They're that's not. Why. It's not like 9/11 or well, they or have the nothing. Sandy Hook conspiracy, Sandy Hoax, or anything there like that, no which got a brief scandals. mention on Anderson Cooper. This is like all the time on Fox News talking about Benghazi and Fast and Furious. Oh, Fox so-called. Those news. are serious. I know. Serious stories. No, they're not. The, exactly what you just said is why they're not serious. That, the fact that Fox News is covering yeah, them is the that, reason so they're that, not serious. That disproves it right there. They're no, not, they're, they're, they're basically, not serious. They're trying to control the information on those two issues, but no. those are serious issues. No, they're not. So you don't think that smuggling guns to Mexican no. drug cartels is a serious issue? Not really. It's and you don't way think crazier that, scandals You don't out think there. that our letting our diplomats get murdered overseas is a serious issue? If that's what happened. It was a dip. It was what? The point but, is, yeah. I speak for the regular American when I say... It doesn't have anything to do with me, so I can't really like get that wrapped up in it. Um, but I'm, I hope uh, asses get kicked. Yeah, it's still and pe- it could good. Be people you, are saying it could be you. Think about it. You go to another country. You go to another country, you. You go to another country you. and you get taken hostage in another country. Mm-hmm. Your government is not going to do shit about it. I would hope they did something. Let's say, well, they, 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 they won't. I would hope. But the government won't. is your ultimately your best friend in those type of times. See, that's when you won't be. And I'm talking about, and I'm not just talking about you're a regular person. You won't, you won't be on I'm some liberty. No, but you're a diplomat. You're a U.S. diplomat. Well, why and you're should, in another country and your life is under danger. Well, why should you? Why should you expect any help? You're anti-government, so why should they help? No, you? I think the government should be responsible for its employees. No, not really. Oh, they don't have employees. Oh, it's employees. I'm talking about if you're an ambassador and you're overseas. And there are psychos in the, in the government. They want to leave you to be assassinated in Algeria and Mali. Ah, whatever, man. Don't take the job if you can't handle the. Uh, you know. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, will take the job. Damn it. Don't, yeah, don't but take I'm saying, it. like, don't you feel? That there should be like some kind of justice. I mean, you like, just want Obama to be look bad. That's all. No, but I mean, I'm sure maybe other justice? presidents have done this. Other Republican presidents probably done this too. There's so much injustice. But like, Obama in the world. saved those. Obama saved those people who were uh, uh, held captive by Somali pirates. Remember that? Well, uh, yeah. Obama's the Lord and Savior, so yeah. he giveth and he taketh away. He sometimes he'll his, save yeah. you, sometimes he won't. Like yeah. he can't. Sometimes he's too busy, you know, blowing up uh, Libya or blowing up Yemen or Pakistan. Oh, it's all good. No, I mean we know he's a good killer. You have to be a good killer yeah. if you're going to take that high office, high office. That's it. You're going to uh, have to kill. Well, fools. Okay, so I think we're done here, right? 
Oh, yeah, let's have a taco or something. Yeah, let's go eat somewhere. I'm not hungry. <laughs> anyway, um, well, yeah, I'm sure there'll be more children dead in the next show, but yeah, we'll talk about it. Peace. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Fucking A.